All right, we got Justin Gant. Justin, um, obviously a huge game on Saturday. And, uh, you know, just talk about the challenge of it. You know, it's a challenge you guys passed last year when you won there. You know, different team, though. You guys are a different team. They're a different team. You know, just talk about what this all encompasses and, you know, how the team is kind of embracing uh, what this is all about. Yeah, well, I mean, it's going to be a big-time game. Obviously, they're ranked nationally, so that's always, you know, puts a little chip on our shoulder. You know, you always want to go in and beat the team that's ranked. Uh, we know that any conference game is going to be tough, especially on the road. You know, it's, it's really tough to go well on the road in NBC, so we, we got that in our back of our minds. But, you know, we're positive. We, we like the game plan that we put in and the way that we've been playing. We haven't been playing our best basketball, but we know what we need to work on. I feel like we're improving each day in practice, and I feel like uh, we're going to go in there and uh, – as long as we execute our game plan, we're going to have a chance to win. We'll talk about them in a moment, but you know, but just talk about how well you know. And I've talked about it before, but you guys have played offensively, and you know, with all the options you have, it's hard even for a good defensive team like Wichita to 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 attack it. I'm sure they'll have a plan, but you know, just talk about the the challenge you present to other teams in terms of how well you guys have played offense so far. Yeah, I mean, as long as we keep moving the ball, and, you know, getting a lot of assists in the game, we got a lot of people that can score, a lot of options, so. As long as we, you know, keep the ball moving and attack the rim, hit the open man, it's going to be hard for any team to, you know, defend us, especially, you know, even if they're a good team. So as long as we stay unselfish the way we played all year, uh, I think we're going to um, make it difficult for them to stop us. Now, in your case, you'll be seeing a lot of Clay Anthony early. You know, just talk about, you know, the, the challenge he presents on both ends of the floor and what you guys need to do to, you know, try to keep him limited. Yeah, he's very athletic. He's a great scorer, you know. Uh, on the defensive end, he's, you know, he uses his uh, height, his athleticism, his length to defend people. So it's going to be tough for us to you know, defend him, but um, I feel like we have a good game plan. And uh, it's going to stay aggressive and you know, try to put him on his heels and take away some of the things that he's good at. You know, Wichita, during their Final Four run last year, you know, kind of had the mantra of playing angry. Um, and it worked for them. It's a, it's a thing that really was a, a good motivating factor for them. Is that a style that you could play? I mean, how would you play if you had to play angry? I mean, how, how do you think you'd respond to that? I mean, I think as long as we just stay aggressive, I think that's what people, you know, they say you're playing angry, you're playing aggressive. I feel like if that, that's when we're playing our best is when we're aggressive. So, I mean, if we, you know, play angry, then that's going to give us our best chance to go out there and win. Um, you know, just talk about, you know, the, the, you, the fact that you guys have played so many games in so many different environments, Notre Dame this year, St. Louis, um, and, and you've played in Wichita before. Most of the roster has had at least one game there. So just talk about how it's going to be a great atmosphere, but it's an atmosphere you guys have, have scheduled and prepared for. How important is that going into this game? Yeah, I mean, it's big time because, you know, when you get there, it's loud. It's hard to hear things. You know, it disrupts, you know, communication on the court. But you know, like, you, like you said, we played in uh, some, some places that are big like that and get loud, like Notre Dame and St. Louis was really loud, you know, great even last year. So a lot of us uh, guys have experienced that, and we know, we know what to look forward to and what is going to happen when we get out there. And then the younger guys, you know, we can just try and talk to them about the, you know, what the environment's going to be like. But I feel like we're going to be prepared for it. When you have a crowd like that, can, in a way, can it focus you? Because you got to concentrate more, you got to communicate, you know, maybe a little louder and, and be a little bit more on point. Can, can that work? to your advantage to have to have kind of an external source kind of create that that focus for you? Yeah, if you make it a priority, it will. Uh, I mean, defensively, we're going to have to talk a lot louder. And then in talking, it puts you in the right position and helps you and your teammates out. So in a way, it's actually going to help us. If we use it and communicate the right way, then it's going to help us out defensively and offensively. All right, thanks, Justin.